right guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, I hope you're all good. So, got a really cool little video for you today. We're gonna to be looking at a brand new amplifier from Bogner. I'm sure you guys know who Bogner are. Uh, they've done the Ubershaw, the Ecstasy, the Shiva, they do pedals, they do all sorts of stuff and they've been around for a long time and we know they do absolutely great sounding amplifiers. I think actually Nolly, uh, on his archetype used a Bogner amplifier or at least one of the crunch amplifiers was modeled on a, on a Bogner of his Shiva, I think. In any case, we're looking at a brand new amplifier today from Bogner. This is the Bogner Ecstasy Mini Amp. So you may have seen recently the Friedman BE Mini as well. This is exactly the same kind of idea, made out in the Far East, Class D power section, 30 watts, has an effects loop, has a variable ohmage speaker out on the back between eight and 16. You've got one channel that can be run low gain or high gain. Then you've got a bunch of little toggle switches that can change the tone, shape it how you want it to be. But really this is aimed at somebody that wants a fairly loud uh, gigable amplifier that has just a great tone straight out the box that you can plug into, maybe use your pedal board with it, uh, and more or less just get like hard rock, kind of heavy rock tones from it. It's powered by a 24 volt power supply that looks like this. You can see it just on the close-up camera there. Kind of like a laptop charger. It's around 299 pounds in the UK, about $329, and then probably somewhere in the middle for euros and other currencies around the world. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the tones of the amplifier. It's got a bunch of little toggle switches that you can change and shape the tone on the front. I'm gonna use my uh, PRS Pauls guitar, and we're running this into the Ox box from Universal Audio with a V30 4x12. Uh, speaker model. I've got pedals in the loop of the amplifier as well that we can mess around with and I just want to take you through all the different tones that are in the amplifier and talk about the features. Just to let you know that Bogner did ask me to check out this amplifier, so I've sent it across for me to check out. It's not a sponsored, well it kind of isn't, isn't a sponsored video in the sense that no money is exchanged hands but you know I've been speaking with them and, we're, and I've been asked to come and check this amplifier out and I wanted to help them out with everything that's been going on recently with the boutique amps distribution uh, factory situation and just thought it would be nice to help. So that's why I've got this little amplifier in my studio today. So you should be able to see some sweeps of the amplifier close up now, but essentially what we've got from left to right is your power switch, then you've got volume, presence, treble, middle and bass, and then gain. And then you've got your input of course. Around the back you've got your speaker out and you've got an effects loop, send and return. Now let's talk about the four little toggle switches on the front panel. So the first one on the left is a Variac. If you don't know what Variac is, famously like brought into popular conversation with regards to guitar by Eddie Van Halen, used to use it with his amplifier. Essentially, it's a power soak. So it means you can run, you, you, you sort of suck the voltage down of the amplifier and it changes the tone ultimately. The second one is gain. We've got plus and minus, a little two-way toggle. So in the minus position, it's like a lower gain tone and in the plus position, obviously higher gain. Then we've got mid frequency uh, toggle switch. This is a three-way. So you can go between low mid in the middle is neutral and then high mid. And then finally, we've got a pre-EQ boost, which to the left is boost one, in the middle is neutral, and to the right is boost two. Okay, so let's crack on with this tone demonstration. Um, this is the Paul's guitar. I chose this guitar because uh, I can switch down to single coils, which will emulate more like your classic sort of Stratty and Telly tones, but also they're sort of less wide spaced uh, humbuckers, so it's gonna have a nice tonal response for an amplifier like this in my opinion. As you can see on the close-up, my gain set is really low down. I'm, I'm trying to do a push clean thing. So let's begin there. Any reverb and delay that you're hearing currently is coming from Oxbox, just a little bit of a pad. We're going to start with a split neck position. So as you can hear, I'm trying to get 
a pushed clean thing. This amplifier obviously isn't a valve amplifier, it's a class D solid state power section. So we're not gonna get lots of glassy kind of valvey push clean tones as such. Uh, you tend to find that solid state amplifiers have a little bit more compression and they don't clean up quite as well. However, that's with my volume on full, you can see the gain is very low down. We've also got the gain toggle position in minus. Basically, we're just trying to find that kind of push clean tone that I, I like to go for with a bit of ambience. Let's add some reverb and delay into the effects loop using the starlight, the night sky. Let's throw on the hologram. So I think all things considered, we can get quite a nice push clean tones out of that. We can carry on tweaking with this. Let's mess with the EQ a sec. Gonna pull out the mids, boost the presence. I think that sounds pretty nice. I can get a push clean thing, I could do the ambient thing with it. I would say that still got quite a lot of mid range to it. Definitely feels like this amplifier is voiced more for gain. So with that in mind, let's uh, start dialing up the gain a little bit. Okay, I'm digging it so far. Let me um, get rid of some more reverb and delay. Okay. Bearing in mind the gain is still very low. Let's boost it to halfway. There's like, I think maybe it's the, there's a saggy compression to it. So that's, that's nice. What else we got? Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? At this point, I think it's probably, we've got the pre-EQ on boost one. I'm gonna go neutral. Back to boost one. Back to boost two. So you can quite clearly hear it's adding more like the upper mids. So that's in neutral. So you'd probably have to rely more on the controls themselves. So for example, mid, treble. Yeah, look, we're boosting a lot here. So like bring down the bass. So we got treble, sorry, presence, treble and mid all like really boosted. Probably a bit too much there, let's back that off. 
Now, if I just switch back uh, the pre-EQ boost to position one, it's probably gonna be quite intense now. Wow, position two. It's worth pointing this out as well, that the master volume or the volume has been above halfway. And what's quite interesting about solid state amplifiers is when you get a certain point, you feel like they're not doing anything anymore. So let me show you what I mean. Let's bring the, the volume down. Now, as I get to halfway, you notice the volume increase. Now let me boost it above halfway. Through a cab, you would probably notice it more in the room, but what, what's basically going on there is there's a ceiling and you're just gonna get more compression uh, from the amplifier when you boost it to sort of full. But that's not really what it's designed to do is to go full volume like that. Of course you could. So we've heard the pre-EQ boost. I think that's good. Let's drop the gain a little bit. And what I'm gonna do now is show you what happens with that uh, mid frequency. So as you can see currently, the toggle switch, it's off. But if we put it in lower mid, I've boosted the mid-range a lot so you can hear what's going on. Sounds like it's taking, it's just shifting that mid-boost between low mid and high mid in a sense that you can quite clearly hear it's a little woollier like this. Boost it the other way. opens up more. Now that's really dependent on the kind of uh, guitar that you're gonna use, that you'll you'll decide which one works better for you. But it's nice that you've got that on the front. So the gain control is back at quarter. Now that's in the gain minus position, gain plus. It's a different kind of high gain tone that I'm, I'm really into because I'm getting, firstly, it's quite noisy with all that gain, but yeah, the, the kind of gain tone that you get, you, you hear all the string definition, like the chord definition stuff, and it just sounds rich, harmonically rich. Do you know what I mean, harmonically rich? Like you hear those like extensions on the power chord really clearly. Some amps don't really do that a lot. Very cool, I like that. So that's in the gain high position. Let's just push all the gain in. So I've got like a, not a high gain tone, but it's like a rocky. Let's throw on the fat B, see how well it handles that. Okay, that 
that about wraps up this video of the Bogner Ecstasy Mini Amp. Just to recap, it's a 30 watt Class D powered solid state amplifier with a built in effects loop. It's got 8 and 16 ohm cab out on the back. You got a load of switching on the front. It's 299 pounds. Does it sound like a Bogner? I think it, in my experience of playing Bogners, it gets close to the sound of a Bogner, which you'd hope because it's a Bogner amplifier. Um, but what I do know is that they, rather than it just being a, a, an ecstasy amp in a small form factor, I believe the idea was to take influence from the Ubershal and the Shiva as well as the ecstasy and design something that had a little bit more versatility. The cool thing that I like about this amplifier is the fact that yes, you can run it really low gain, using the switching, the toggle switching for the pre-EQ boost and stuff like that. You can kind of get the push clean thing and then you can take it all the way through to essentially really high gain without any pedals in front. I mean, I only used the fuzz just to see how it would handle it and it did a pretty good job of that. I think the effect loop sounds good. It's nice having that in this kind of form factor amplifier so you could run this with your pedal board. I think that for 299 pounds with the kind of tonal shaping on the front, it's not a bad punt if you are into the Bogner tone. I think if you're a fan of Bogner and you know, you, you're looking for something that's kind of small wattage, but you know, loud enough that it can keep up with a drum kit with some nice tonal switching. The only thing that I think would be nice is because you've got all this switching on the front and it's like halfway to being able to be integrated into more of a live rig, you know, like some sort of foot switching to help you out because once you've sort of set the tone and the toggle switching on the front, you kind of have to choose between like a low gain thing here and then use pedals or a high gain thing here, which doesn't allow you to use as many, you know, stomp boxes and stuff. But, you know, you've got your effects loop so you can run different pedals in the effects loop. So there you go, there it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you to the guys at Bogner and uh, Boutique Amps Distribution for sending this over for me to try. Really hope everything's working out for you guys. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this amplifier. I'll put the link in the description box. Like, subscribe and share. I've been Rabia and I will see you all very soon.